Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel. Uh, this is Lakshman. In this video, I am going to uh, discuss about uh, one of the core concepts in object oriented programming uh, that is uh, inheritance in Java. First, let me uh, tell you uh, the agenda of this session. What is inheritance? Why we use inheritance? Or uh, what is the purpose of inheritance? What is the purpose of inheritance? How to achieve or implement? How to achieve inheritance? And let us see some examples. Okay. First, let me uh, define what is inheritance. Inheritance means acquiring the properties of from one class to another class. What the meaning of acquiring properties? Acquiring properties means accessing variables and methods from one class to another class. It's called inheritance. So let us take uh, two classes here. Class parent. one more class class child okay so here two classes are here so every class having properties properties mean variables and methods so the the process of it is a mechanism is a process uh, acquiring the properties from one class to another class is called inheritance okay then what is the purpose what is the purpose of inheritance inheritance is used reusability purpose reusability purpose how to achieve reusability how it serves so reusability means whatever the Parent class having properties is by default available to the child class by using inheritance concept. To achieve that inheritance concept, we are using extends keyword. By using extends keyword, we can achieve the inheritance concept. Okay, whatever the parent class have parent class properties by default available in the child class by using extends keyword okay so in the inheritance concept there are some terms are using in various books like the parent class super class base class okay so let us see with the diagram here it is the diagram so this is the parent class and this is the child class so we can also call this parent class as super class or base class and we can also call child class as subclass and derived class so the, these are the naming conventions only so all are same only parent class super class base class all are same and child sub or derived okay so don't confuse about that okay then what the meaning of base class means or parent or sub class means from which we are acquiring the properties from which we are acquiring the properties it's called base class or parent or super then what is derived class derived class means from which we are deriving the properties from base class is called derived class or subclass or child class so this type of uh, parent and child class is called single inheritance there are uh, number of inheritance are available in in java programming language like uh, uh, single uh, multiple inheritance multi level inheritance hybrid inheritance hierarchical inheritance so we'll make uh, the, uh, that video in the uh, coming videos okay first let us understand the basic definitions and uh, basic concept okay so parent Super and base all are same only and child sub and direct all are same okay so 
to uh, clear understanding uh, this concept we will uh, let me take one example for that i am going to open my eclipse id and take one class create one class 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 name so here i am taking inheritance demo class name as inheritance demo and select public that was made and click finish button okay so here is the program structure here i'm taking class parent okay here small letter okay now uh, in that class i am uh, declaring one variable in text equal to 10 and also uh, defining one method public wide show in that method uh, show I am parent okay so we will create one more class class child extend parent okay in, in the child class also i'm creating one more uh, de uh, declaring one more variable into y equal to 20 okay i'm defining one more method public y display okay so in that method we so i am Okay, so this is the parent and the child class. So let uh, let me explain this one again. So the parent class is having properties. Properties means variables and the method. Okay, so these properties and variables we need to use in future. For that purpose, inheritance concept is coming to the picture. I want to use these properties in the another class. So to achieve that feature by using extends keyword. To achieve those that feature, we are using extends keyword. So to achieve inheritance concept, we are using extends keyword. So whatever the parent having the properties by default available into the child. Child has having the specific properties and also parent class properties. So just remember this point. Child class having specific properties and also parent class properties. Okay. So now we are going to create the class for child class. For which class we need to create the object? Child class only. Why sir? What is the reason to create child class object creation? Uh, let me explain that part. First, uh, let me create object child p dot x. So we need to keep in so p dot x. Okay. And how to call the method by using reference display as show. Which method we are having in the display method? Okay. Can we call show method also? But show method is available in which class? Parent class. So display. Okay. Show method is available in which class? Parent class. P dot show. Okay. So now uh, let me explain the program. So whatever the parent class having parent class properties, all are by default available in the child. So for that reason, I am going to create the object for child class. Okay. So if you are not create the object for child instead of uh, child if you creating the object for parent then what happened if you create the object for parent we can access only 
the parent class properties only okay we, we cannot call the child class properties by using parent class reference okay so if you want to access both the parent and the child class properties then you should create the object for child class only okay so now let's uh, let uh, let me execute our program run button okay here so the 10 is 10 is the uh, variable value for parent class and then i call it here p dot display this is the child class method and display here i am a child and c dot show actually uh, this method show method is available in which in which class parent class okay so that means we can access parent class properties by using child object reference c dot child object child class object reference which one c by using c we can access properties of a parent class okay and also can access a child class methods also okay but by using a parent class reference by using parent if you create object for parent then we can access for only parent class properties only you can access parent class properties only in order to access child class properties we must create the object for child class object only okay by default available the properties all properties of parent class in the child class also okay so exactly where we use the inheritance concept so if we have a common properties then we should create that class as a inheritance concept like uh, suppose there is a uh, loan class is there class loan all properties common properties all common properties are defined or defined in this class okay from class loan you can create a class house loan extends loan okay so here specific properties for house loan and by default available by default uh, loan properties also loan properties also available okay and take one more class class car loan extends loan okay so here specific properties here specific properties for car loan and also uh, by default all common properties are also available in car loan okay so for that reason we are using inheritance concept that means we are reusing the properties reusing the code again and again in all classes whenever required so i hope you got it why you are using inheritance concept and what is the advantage of inheritance concept why we are using inheritance concept and how to uh, implement how to achieve inheritance concept how to achieve inheritance concept by using extensive keyword okay so in real time in which scenario we are going to use inheritance concept if you have common properties then those common properties are declared defined in one class so from that class all different classes are accessing that means acquiring all properties in another new class okay so i hope you got it 
so if you like our videos please subscribe our videos and uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and also likes our videos and share our videos so thanks for watching